My name is Joseph Pearson. I'm a senior here at Gifford College. I played football uh, and I was the blind side tackle, which is the left side tackle. Obviously, this is my first year at, at tackle. Um, I did things that no other tackle in our conference did. I mean, I would finish blocks 10, 15 yards downfield. Uh, I was an aggressive tackle. Um, a lot more of our blind side tackles in our conference are very passive. Uh, I think I could have gotten further awards, you know, maybe put some more years in behind that position. But as a first year playing that position, uh, I was pretty happy with what I got. Well, uh, you know, after the season, I went to the, the coaches call me. Coach Savage gave me a call when he found out after the meetings, and he said he had voted for me to be a first team. And I just, you know, I got second team. I felt, you know, I was just like, I, I felt like I did better than that. You know, I felt like I proved myself on the field more than that. And uh, the calls started coming in for All-Star Games. I got two calls for two different All-Star Games, uh, one in Roanoke, Virginia, where the Division Three National Championship is played, and another one in Virginia Beach. Um, so weighing out the differences between them and the timing and stuff like that, uh, I chose to go to one in Virginia, uh, in Roanoke. Uh, it was D3 All-American Bowl, so what it's called, it's called the Dream Bowl. Um, and I met some, some fun, some fun, interesting players from all over, from t East Texas, West Texas, to up in New York and Maine. Three hard days of practice. So you come in Friday night, you get a walk through. You know, Saturday two a days, Sunday two a days. You know, it's it it's pretty grueling. I was pretty sore by the by the time the game came along, and they took it really easy on you. You know, it was more NFL style tempo. You know, like we didn't wrap up and tackle because we're assuming everyone there <laughs> knew how to wrap up and hit. So. Uh, just, you know, we had a combine there also. Uh, um, we had a Spectrum Sports Academy did our combine up there. Um, and I, uh, we, we, we went on to play the game on Monday. It's like an 11-15 kickoff. And uh, we, my team, we went on, the Crusaders went on to win 37-0. Uh, so it was, it was a pretty fun game. So. And I was a captain. Uh, I got nominated captain the night before by the coaching staff. One thing that stands out about Joe is his determination. Uh, he's very, very consistent and as a football player or somebody that's training towards any goal, whether it be academic or athletic-wise, you got to be determined and not only determined but dedicated. And sometimes with athletes, you have to motivate them to be dedicated, but with him it's almost second nature. Yeah, as soon as the season ended, you know, I, I started doing my own thing and I started, you know, really training hard. And that's really the only kind of training I know is 110%. Uh, and, you know, whether I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing, it's just I always train hard. And I go to Matt Pulowski, who had me out there practicing snapping for the Senior Bowl, and he suggested I go to Prolific. So, you know, I saw the improvement that he had done. I saw, you know, he worked one-on-one -on -one with Ricky Prohl to improve his throwing motion. And so I, I went over there and spoke with Rodney Beasley, my trainer, and he just he had me on board that day and was like, all right, suit up, you're training. <laughs> and they wanted to see what I was about. So, uh, you know, I went there in all hopes to get combine-specific training because my my lack of knowledge in that area. I have everybody, every athlete to come in and do a workout, kind of show me how, you know, dedicated they are and whether or not they're actually uh, truly pursuing a goal or if they're, you know, kind of living a dream one of the you know there's a big difference between the two Joe came in worked hard right off bat so um, you know it wasn't really what I did with him it's just steering Joe in the right direction he's already got the drive and the effort to want to achieve his goals we just had to help him understand his full athletic potential uh, CFL's looking good I'm talking to the Edmonton Eskimos right now uh, I was number one at the workouts uh, three weeks ago for the British Columbia Lions I had the number one times out of any other offensive lineman there so um, you know, everything's going good. I'm just trying to get, market myself as much as possible. I tried to do my leadership this year uh, and more like show them through, what, through my actions. So instead of just saying like do as I say, like I made it more do as I do. Uh, you know, I, uh, I cut out all the smack talking, all the late hits, the penalties this year and made sure that I was a more well-rounded player. I guess, you know, if, if, you know, for these recruits coming in, man, just just work hard and listen to the coaching staff. You know, their experience level about you know sending kids to the NFL obviously obviously is, is minimum. But you know, I'm I'm their experience. I'm getting their experience. I'm helping them out, and they they're understanding the process more and more every day. You know, they're making the calls that, that need to be made, and you know the the workout I have for Edmonton is is pretty promising, and that came through Coach Rusevich. You know, you know just just come in with you know the right mindset to just do what you got to get done.
Thank <laughs> you.